and theories of how to calculate survivability of a ship after a damage. Loss of buoyancy method. Added weight method. Loss of buoyancy method. In the loss of buoyancy method, which can be regarded as the true method, the ship will have a new underwater hull form, and a new equilibrium is calculated based on this. Calculation procedure. When calculating the floating position and stability after damage with a loss of buoyancy method, the following procedure should be followed. 1. Calculate the volume of the flooded seawater, that is, the loss of buoyancy, by multiplying the displacement to the original water line of the damaged compartment with the volume permeability of the compartment. 2. Calculate the change in draft and the new location of longitudinal center of flotation, LCF, and transversal center of flotation, TCF, for the remaining water area when damaged compartments are taken away. 3. Calculate moment of inertia for the remaining waterline area based on the new center of flotation, transverse and longitudinal. Thereafter, calculate the new BM. 4. Calculate the new location of B above keel. 5. Calculate new EM. 6. Calculate healing angle and trim. Correction of GZ curve. True GZ for the actual damage can be calculated only if the cross curves, KN values, are calculated for the damaged hull. Application of the method. Loss of buoyancy method is not recommended when doing damage stability calculations annually. The method is more suitable for programming on computer calculations and gives a very reliable result.